Use of recycled pavements and shingles in some asphalt pavement mix designs is common practice for departments of transportation across the nation. While this is undoubtedly better for the environment and economically wise, it's important for the Texas Department of Transportation to continue improving the quality of these mixes in order to reduce cracking and rutting on the state's highways. Research at the University of Texas at El Paso is looking at current guidelines to see how they may be adjusted to create better performing recycled mixtures. This research was aimed at trying to increase the performance of our current mixes. So in our traditional hot mix design, what we do is we do what we call volumetrics. Everything's just density driven. Um, all of the, the bidding for projects is done uh, based on low bid. So you're not always getting the performance out of it. So the start of this project, we had uh, what we call RAP and RAS, so recycled asphalt pavement and recycled asphalt shingles. Um, economically, it seems like a good choice up front because it seems like free binder, right? Free asphalt. And we don't always see the long-term performance. And so this project was look, looking at how do we increase the life of that pavement while still utilizing these materials. So we didn't just do volumetric with density design. We actually would put in like a cracking and a rutting performance test and try to balance the performance while also balancing economics and still getting that density. Here we focus not just on rutting, we are also focusing on the cracking. So the, the term balance mix. So we not focus just on rutting, we're going to look at cracking. And we started doing cracking tests, which was the overlay test. Uh, Textot has adapted the overlay test, so we, we worked on that. And to make it easier, we developed a couple of tools online, one of them for the cracking test. Instead of, you know, a lot of people have different equipment and reducing the data, sometimes you have variation. We put the online tool so anybody can go in with their raw data, reduce it, and come up with the same answer. Uh, the other thing is we did is the, the mix design itself uh, that Textot has been using traditionally is, is done in Excel. And as you know, Excel versions change year after year. Not only that, it's very cumbersome. Uh, what we wanted to do is add the balanced mix design to that. We kind of came up with an online tool which goes in there and grabs components from that Excel sheet, mainly the gradation. And we optimize the gradation that you need for the balanced mix. And then you save it and it puts it back into that same Excel sheet and everybody else could use it. So we kind of simplified the process. From this research, we actually developed a special specification, uh, 3074. Um, from that balanced mix design specification, it has performance tests for cracking and for rutting. Um, we've since placed two sections on the NCAT test track. Um, those have been in uh, cycle for about four years now. Um, and then we've also uh, developed a, a, what we call interagency contract with uh, TTI, UT El Paso, and UT Austin. And we actually placed 34 test sections across the state. So we put over 30 sections out there that are balanced mix design. We varied the wrap content. We varied a rejuvenator. We, some of them had no wrap versus wrap. Hopefully within a few years, we, we continue to monitor those projects and see how good this balanced mix design is, is going to be. So through this monitoring, the idea would be we come up with an improved special specification, and that would be our new statewide. And so we currently have another uh, interagency contract right now with TTI, uh, and the idea is to continue to monitor that, create a new uh, specification, and then to start implementing this in some districts. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the Tech.Research Library at the link shown below.